is a one wheel and I love it to death, except the tire's flat again. What? How flat? Dude, if only you had two wheels. I don't actually have any holes in this tire. The problem is that I've put 2,300 miles on this tire and it's worn them down so much that you can see all the, the threading inside of the tire and air is literally seeping through. This is the point when you're supposed to replace a tire months beforehand. You're never supposed to let tires get this bad and I let this tire get that bad. 2,300 miles. How many kilometers? 3,700 kilometers. I think I might have the record for the most miles on any given tire of a one wheel. That's probably not true, but I'm gonna say it's true. Someone challenged that. And I can't even go more than a day without having to pump it up. Speaking of which. <sighs> lately, like in the last week, it's gotten even worse. I've seen online that people have done this mod. They literally replace the tire with a treaded tire so that it can go off road. And I was like, man, that's a really cool idea. I need a new tire. I ordered this online, it's from a company called Hoosier. This is literally the exact same tire that's on a one wheel except it has treads. This tire here, it never had treads like this. This is my pride and joy, my favorite thing. So I'm a little nervous taking this to the tire shop because they're gonna rip it apart and I'm afraid that they might break it irreparably. Right away, big thanks to YouTube Red for sponsoring this video because the biggest project we have ever done has just dropped. Lifeline is out. You can watch the first episode on Corridor Digital right now for free, so go check it out. It's the first sci-fi narrative series on YouTube. Link in the description. Maybe there's a card in the corner or keep watching now, whatever, but go watch Lifeline at some point here. It is the largest undertaking we've ever done. Why are you even holding the camera? Why aren't you go watching it? Go watch this episode. <laughs> Yeah, you haven't whipped that out in a while, have you? No. Yeah, I want to get into knife sharpening. No joke. I, I, Jake, it seems like you, you probably know a little bit about knife sharpening. <laughs> Jake's, eh, whatever. He, he, he's locked in. Those Sennheiser. Sam got me this sword as a very, very nice birthday present. It's funny because we, we, we're constantly doing these like fruit slicing videos or things like that. You know, a katana is a great thing to have in a YouTube studio because. Well, they're sweet. All, all the katanas in the studio are all like fake katanas. They're all just these dull decorational ones that you get. But this one isn't, and I thought that was pretty cool. Figured, you know what? It's a good birthday present for Nico. I should probably like put it on display, right? I don't know. I mean, well, it's, it, the thing is, the reason you're watching this right now is because I noticed there's like an actual, like legit sword just sitting on Nico's desk collecting dust and figured I should bring it up. I don't know. I'm trying to do that subtle thing, you know, the subtle like, you know, maybe you should uh, do something with that instead of just let that gather dust, you know, because it was a really serious, heartfelt gift, you know? Yeah, he put a lot of work into that gift. Put a lot of, no, I didn't. <laughs> Mostly two clicks. <laughs> that being said, it was a lot of thought. I think there's some truth to what you're saying, Sam. I think I should hang it up. Right, desk, right, right above your desk. Oh, you're gonna really, you're gonna literally just hang it above your desk. I'll take, I'll take that. Uh, I this is a real sword, so you want it out of harm's way, like, you, just yeah, like, like up here. I guess nails. Totally. <laughs> that doesn't feel like a stun, Nico. No, I swear that this worked. <laughs> if, you, if you if you have a katana, you want it within arm's reach eventually. Like ninjas break in, or you know, you have to chop some stuff. <laughs> you can't see the blade. You gotta take the sheath off. Like it's impressive to walk into a room with an open sword. If someone bumps, if someone like even bumps the wall, that thing is gonna go flying off. That thing is like still pretty. That is legit sharp. Just almost fell. Like that? Yeah. Uh, that's impressive. Nothing is just like gonna fly <laughs> off and impale you. You're you guys are here. just jealous um, of how cool this looks. Look, like, you don't even have the nails at level. Stairs. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm saying. You should maybe rethink this setup. That's kind of uh, sketchy. So fortunately, I have a lot of one wheel friends and one guy said he tried five different places before he found the right tire place that could do this sort of installation. So I'm gonna call them up and set up an appointment. Ron's Tires and Wheel. Ron's Tires. Could I uh, set up an appointment? It's a little electric skateboard that has a single wheel in the center of it. Another question, is it okay if we bring cameras to record it? Um, I don't see why not. So I was heading home to the train station last night and my tire officially died. Really? That's how close I cut it. So if this doesn't work, then I don't have a one wheel for I don't know how long. So we're in the office of the Ron's Tire and Wheel place on Lancashire. Yeah. So the motor is actually in the wheel? Yeah, so the motor is right here. Yeah, I can see the, the connection there. Yeah, totally. Alright, well, uh, he's gonna come back in a few. 
Unfortunately, the guy who knows how to change this tire is not currently here right now. Uh, in order to replace the tire, we have to remove the entire motor from the device. I wish I'd have done this at home before we came out here today. So right now I'm taking off the electronic plug cover, as you'll see right now. Oh, there we go, okay. I'm glad they have tools here, this is great. Hey, whoa. That feels weird, man. Whoa. All right, so I've been cooking up something pretty cool in that printer because after the success of my little anamorphic bokeh mods, I decided, hey, let's do a Cordo Digital mod for the Salmon Eco lenses. And I, what do you do? Holy shit, dude, yeah, dude yeah. is that for real? <laughs> oh my God, whoa, hey, dude, is this really happening? Earthquake, earthquake, dude. Oh, really? Hey. Oh god. Hey, hey, Nico, watch. Yo, Nico, that sword, dude, watch out. I've come to talk. Never thought this is how I was gonna die. I don't think I can eat sandwiches anymore. Man, if I died from eating a sandwich, I'd just rather they close the casket and say it was something else that was much more horrible. The coolest part of having my life saved, the sunglasses that Lifelight Angel was wearing. Man, those are sweet. Check this out, we got a little present for you. Oh! I'll wear these forever. Hey, Romo, hey, chinga tercera. ¿Te acuerdas cómo la llamaba esta madre? So this is it. Thank you. child go through surgery. more rounded. The regular one wheel tire is fairly flat. This is very round so it's not as stable but it should mean I can do some really really tight turns. Yo is your print done yet? Uh yeah hold on I'm, I'm taking it out right now. <laughs> Man. That's how I die? There's, there's no way, there's no way I'm going out like this. <laughs> Freak 3D printer accident, <sighs> please. All right, so I couldn't just, you know, leave this video off without reviewing the new tire at all. So here I am at Brand Park in Glendale and what it allows me to do is go up the fire roads that access the top of the mountain here. And I'm gonna go all the way to the top, all the way to the very top, and hopefully get up there before sunset. What I'm hoping to achieve today is to basically just get a better feeling for how this tire works. So far, I'm really, really liking it, but let's see how it handles the trails. It's got a long ways to go. This is just the beginning of the trail. One of my favorite things to do is ride up this mountain. The city is so full of hustle and work. It can be stressful, overwhelming, I like to come out here to get away from it. The trail here goes all the way to the very top. It's about three or four miles long, but about 2,000 feet in elevation climb. Oh God, I almost just ran over a lizard. 
Probably could have handled it if I had a little bit more speed, but I was filming and got distracted. <sighs> Walking is my least favorite thing. And oh, I'm at 8% battery. This is a homemade battery that I made out of a couple six cell lipos, and I'm gonna use this to go through a solar controller. This acts as an, a go-between between, between solar panels and a battery pack, or another battery pack and a different battery pack. I'll sometimes pass bikers as they're struggling for breath, eyes wide as they witness me riding by without any effort. I like to console them with the line, I'm cheating, which, which usually gets a laugh, but as I pull ahead of them, I tend to wonder if that's even true. And just like that, I'm charging the one wheel on the side of a mountain. I know what you're thinking. This battery kind of looks like a bomb. It's not a bomb. I mean, it could be. What exactly am I cheating? The exercise? All I want is to escape. And since I've started coming up here and discovering just how easy it is to break out of the grind, I've been happier. Right there is where I'm trying to go, but in order to get there, I have to go all the way up and around, and all the way to the top and over and along, so. It's really peaceful up here, but it's also stupidly fun. I've been snowboarding for 15 years and it never gets old. There's, there's like this magic to maneuvering your body using only your balance, gliding wherever you choose to, riding that raw connection between mind and mountain. The ability to have that same experience while going uphill is incredibly liberating. Right over there. Go along this curve, around the top, we'll get a pretty sweet view of downtown Burbank. That is another problem that I'm just now finding is that rocks are kind of getting stuck between the treads and then getting stuck between the foot pads and the tire itself. Uh, not too big of an issue so far. I've made it all the way up here and... Okay, here we go. You ready? Look at that sunset! It's hard not to feel like you're flying when at the end of it all you're 2,000 feet up overlooking a city you so casually escaped. Make it up to the top while there's still at least a little bit of daylight. As it is, I'm already gonna be riding downhill in the dark. Just a sheer cliff right here. No big deal. Just about two feet wide in a cliff. Everyone else, they're just simply missing out. Cool. That was cool. I, I, I do really want to note that I have done this ride before on the old one wheel tire. In fact, I've done it many, many times. But what makes this new tire different on this ride is that I felt way more secure riding up this road because on some of the steeper parts of the road, on the older tire, it would slip out. There would be just not enough friction between the tire and the ground and it would slide out and you'd fall off. Look at this view. Is this not a great view or what? Thanks for watching guys. This was a fun ride and I'll see you in the next video. Maybe we can do another adventure together. Hopefully that was all in focus and exposed well enough, so. The biggest project we've ever worked on is finally released right now on the Corridor channel. It's called Lifeline, if you haven't heard of it, and the first episode is free. The rest are on YouTube Red. Big thanks to YouTube Red for sponsoring this video on the show, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. You should watch it right now. It's the biggest undertaking Sam and I have ever done. We shot for 40 days straight, 12 hour days, eight half hour episodes on YouTube Red. And here's the thing, if you've ever been a fan of things we do in the office, well this is what it's for guys. It's for projects like this. This is us trying to actually achieve that dream. So if you wanna see what it looks like, head on over to Corridor and check it out. There's also a three month free trial of YouTube Red going on right now. So if you were like, not sure about YouTube Red yet, just hit that little free trial button right now and you can check out the whole show. So there's basically no reason not to watch it. Man, that's solid logic. Man. Like, why wouldn't you? Yeah, why wouldn't you? Yeah, if you're like, oh, why don't you release it on YouTube? Are you gonna ever release it? It's on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? It's about people who time travel. Tam travel. They time travel 33 days into the future to save your life if they think you're gonna die or detect that you're gonna die. Now someone might say, that makes no sense. Why would you time travel 33 days into the future? Why not just like wait 33 days? Well guess what? It's a sci-fi show. We've made up all these reasons that make sense <laughs> and back up that concept and the premise. And the only way you're gonna figure out what those are is by watching the diggity dang show anyways. So hopefully it's still going on by the time this video gets released. <laughs>